let's go on a magical journey through the electromagnetic wave spectrum. As you may know, electromagnetic waves or EM waves range from infinitely small to infinitely big. EM waves all travel in the form of photons, which most people associate with light, but photons actually carry all kinds of waves. Radio waves, visible light, and toxic radiation are all simply arbitrary names we've given to different sizes of electromagnetic waves. Some EM waves are smaller than atoms and can disrupt the basic composition of matter. Usually, a living creature exposed to these tiny electromagnetic waves will die from radiation poisoning, which basically means the molecules in their body, including their DNA, have been torn apart. Luckily, the Earth's atmosphere is a perfect cocktail of EM wave disrupting chemicals. Oxygen, nitrogen, and ozone all play a part in keeping out the bad radiation and letting in the good. That good radiation being what we usually refer to as light. Although objectively speaking, there's really no difference between visible light and other kinds of radiation. We just happen to be unable to see anything smaller than ultraviolet waves, because it would interfere with our DNA. And we happen to be unable to see anything bigger than infrared waves, because it's disrupted by the water in our eyes. However, some animals have discovered ways around this. The palace's long-tongued bat has adapted to see ultraviolet light. As a nocturnal animal, it only consumes ultraviolet light in small doses. And in turn, some flowers have adapted to attract the bats with ultraviolet colored petals. To us, the flowers look pale, but the bats see them as vibrant. And on the other end of the visible light spectrum, the pit snake has evolved to see infrared light by essentially growing a second pair of eyes that take in light like a pinhole camera. Without a watery lens to disrupt the infrared rays, the pit snake is able to see EM waves that are invisible to humans. Its brain then combines this with the visual information gained from its standard eyes, essentially giving it heat vision. Different EM waves of different sizes resonate with different materials. Infrared waves are disrupted by water, but not air. Visible light is stopped by wood, but not glass. And radio waves can resonate through solid walls, but not metal. It's strange to think that there is invisible light all around us, but we interact with it on a daily basis. Radio waves are used in all sorts of technology these days because of their ability to pass through walls. However, radio waves can interfere with other waves that are the exact same length, so most governments have to carefully regulate the crowded electromagnetic spectrum. You may recall that in 2009, the US government shut down analog television in order to make room for digital television. It's because there's only so much room in the air. Radio waves are the biggest waves in the electromagnetic spectrum, and fortunately harmless to humans. In fact, our atmosphere allows radio waves to come and go, while more destructive waves are kept out. It's interesting to think that Earth just happens to block harmful waves like radiation, and just happens to allow access to useful waves like light. Or perhaps radiation is only harmful to humans because we never had to deal with it while evolving. Maybe our planet has been coddling us all along, because she didn't want us to leave. Mother Nature can be so passive-aggressive.